everybody. Sit down. Stop! You're the second prettiest, so you can't sit right beside me. It makes me less pretty by comparison. Mace, you sit here. What's this? Your lines. I wrote them for everyone, so you wouldn't have to just say the things you think of, because I don't care about those things. Okay, now pretend we're sitting at a mall food court and we're cutting class. Okay, I'll start. I can't believe how many fuglies there are here. Uh, like I know, right? We should totally throw our drinks in their faces and tell them to go back home and hide in their stupid dumb basements with all their fat, dumb, ugly clothes and body stink. That doesn't sound like a nice thing to do at all. I mean, totally. Hey, I heard all the cute boys took a vote and voted me as the prettiest girl. Just saying, not bragging, but it happened. Wait. Why do you get to be the prettiest? Because the boys voted. It's in the script. But you wrote the script. Please, only say the lines in the script. Fine. Then can I write a script for tomorrow where I'm the prettiest? Psh, no. What about the most popular? Uh, no. That's me, too. I don't really like this game. I like to pretend, too. Once I pretended I could fly, only I couldn't, and I landed on my head, and then I pooped, and that made me sad. That's okay, Mace. It happens to all of us. Really? Even Roxy? Wow. I can't believe the prettiest girl at the pretend mall poops her pants. Oh, <laughs> just wait till I tell everyone. Hello, can you go? Well, now you know. The family drive to canoes down the next stop street drop will town. There's no escape, that's bad luck, so settle in. You're stuck! In Crash Canyon. Scream and yell and have a spasm makes no difference to the castle. Break the back! You live in a crash! Crash Canyon. Oh, every day here is exactly the same. This place sucks worse than if, like, an airplane crashed in your face. Hey, I know what might be different. You help me clean up for once. <laughs> As if. Boy, you think she'd learn. I ignore you. I think you'd be surprised how often that happens to me. I know I am. Well, one of you could help. I rolled, didn't I? Hey, Norm, can you hand me that magazine? But you're closer. Me getting it is inefficient. Come on, Norm, be a pal. I'm tired from helping Sheila clean. Oh. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> and back to ignore. I can't believe people up there keep throwing their trash into the canyon. They're really dumb. They never opened this. That was pretty smart. It's not smart. The dump here is full of their garbage, and it's spreading all over the place. Look! <laughs> it is kind of a crap hole. I like it. It reminds me of my old apartment. Except the rats here are meaner. <laughs> you know, one day they will rise and kill us all. I'm glad we're all working together to clean this place up. That's why they call us a nuclear family. Because of the awesome power we have. <laughs> oh, look at Penny! Now there is no doubt this will be the best day of my life. Is that you? Oh, Vernon! Your arrival is most timely! I am surely saved. Why should I help you? Your people kicked me out of that all-you-can-eat buffet! Those are the Chinese! Uh, I am Japanese! A totally different knees! Okay, then this is for the Korean War! That's Korean! You even said so yourself! A candlelight vigil? Is there anything more effective than this? Stay strong, Hiko. We're all in this together. That Taiwanese man is being eaten by a couch. 
The Bible was right! Firstly, I am Japanese. Second, I do not understand why no one will move the stuff on top of me. You are all here. It would make so much sense. Shh, don't talk. You need your strength. I'll try lighting another candle to see if that helps. Step aside. A hero walks amongst you. I saved you, despite Pearl Harbor. Uh, thank you, despite Hiroshima. Attention, everyone! The garbage situation has gotten out of hand! An Indonesian man was almost killed today! Japanese! I'm Japanese! Ask him! Name, rank, and serial number. That's all you'll get, Tojo. Interrupting is rude. Anyway, we really need to clean up the canyon. Do I have any volunteers? If I wanted to put my hands on garbage, I'd tuck my daughter in at night. Okay, then. I'm not sure that's good parenting. But anyway, what about you two? It would be a great way to meet people, even though you've already met everyone. Make her stop talking to me. I'm getting upset. Please stop talking to my daughter. It's making her upset. Don't say please to it. Now she's going to think we want to talk to her more. I take back what I said. Not all of it. Just the part where I said please. Look, everybody, I know we're all busy with bad parenting and things, but we can fix this. Every problem in life has a solution, just like in math. So let's all meet at the beach tomorrow at 9 a.m. and start there. Working together by my calculations, we can clean up the canyon in one day. So, I'll see you all then. I, I fully yeah, agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Isn't this fun? I hope you don't mind I started before you got here. I mind. It's cheating, and I didn't come here to lose. Ah! All right. More people and with one full bag already. Great start, you guys. Let's keep that can-do momentum going. We're not here to help. We're drowning a cat that got into my food supply. Uh. What, what, what happened? The last thing I remember, I was a cat. Well, no one else showed up to help, and no one else seems to care, but I think we can all take pride in a job well done. <laughs> <gasps> oh, who the heck am I kidding? We're never gonna get this place clean unless everyone helps out, and just like always, no one is around. They're around. They're just over there. What's going on? I'm offering a buy one, get one free drink promotion. It's going much better than my last promo. I can't believe you all think getting drunk is more fun than picking up trash. I don't blame them. It probably helps them forget how boring this place is. It's like a world made of Jake. She's mean because she's jealous. It's sad, really. I can't get drawn into your family dynamics. It's time for me to take the stage right after a pre-show drink. <coughs> <coughs> Lightweight. Thank you for coming tonight, everyone. And now I will begin my act. My, My wife, wife is so... Well, no, you ain't married. What broad would want you? <laughs> yes, yes, well... Well, well then imagine, imagine if you will, I have, have a wife. And, and she happens to be quite advanced in years. In years. Oh, oh, yeah, saying, saying that, that instead of old is really gonna help with the flow of the joke. joke. You jackass! <laughs> I mean, my wife is so old. That she and Moses were in a comedy club the first time some hack told this joke? Oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yes, well, I do not find that very funny. How would you know? Letting you judge funny is like letting Norm judge a personality contest. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Get off the stage and let Tubby tell some jokes. <laughs> do it, Cousin Vernon. You're way funnier than that guy. How about a big hand for Nalapan? Because he's finally leaving. <laughs> oh, look, the butanes are here. I'll try and tell a joke using the eight words they know. <laughs> hey, Frenchman, that's my cousin. Hey, Roxy, don't bother talking to him. If he's going to have something going into an orifice, trust me, information in his ear is not his first choice. <laughs> Buenos dias, Senor Vernon. Chipmunch and Machangas. On la casa. 
Not bad. You cook like you look. Hot and greasy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hot and greasy. I haven't been called that since high school. <laughs> These chimachangas are for funny people only. Guess you're gonna starve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love a man with a sense of humor. You were hilarious last night. Those are nice. Would they run you? <laughs> <laughs> are you suggesting parts of me aren't real? I'm just saying the only difference between you and a blow-up doll is the doll has less air in its head. Listening to you insult people? Easily the most fun I've had since we crashed into this hole. Me too. Hey, you want to go have more fun? Hop on. Gladly. Shouldn't one of you be on a leash? <laughs> my cousin and my daughter insulting me? Is this what you wanted, Darwin? Is it? How's it going, you filthy lice-eating gorilla? <laughs> and how are you, Lippy? Shaburn! Bear's not even human, and still, I think he's the one that's settled in your relationship. Snack! Oh. Hey, Reginald, how's it feel having a moron for a son? If you want to know, ask your parents! Why, I never! Maybe you should once in a while. You probably wouldn't be so bitchy. Oh! <laughs> Confucius say, he slept with your mother! And snap it! Knock, knock! Who's there? The only two people in the canyon that don't suck! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning! Last time I saw a group of this quality is when I looked before I flushed. Hey, hot and greasy, one breakfast special, please. You must give me ten teas. What the hell happened to On the Casa? Why would I give you something for free when you are worse for business than the weekly food poisoning? Now it is twenty teas. Oh, come on! It was just some good-natured fun, like tetherball or tipping over homeless people when they sleep. I learned that from tipping over homeless cows. Now it is 30 teas. No, 40 teas. No, not for sale. The pig gets it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Vernon. After breakfast, I was going to appeal to everyone to help clean up the canyon. Now how can I appeal to them? Now how? Jeez, Norm, I had no idea you... Of course not. You know, just once I wish you'd use your stupidity, ignorance, and inability to learn for good instead of evil. My God, he sounds like every report card I ever had. I blew it, Roxy. Oh, I thought that was the pig. Maybe I just hoped it was the pig. It's probably a bit of both, but forget that. Everyone hates me. My jokes made me popular, but I took a good thing and went too far. I always do. Now all I want is for things to go back to normal. Nah, normal's boring. This place is always the same. This was different and fun and exciting. Yeah, was. Okay, helping isn't really the type of thing I do because I don't care about people, but I'm gonna make an exception. I'm gonna help you. So does that mean you care about me? Say that again and I'll kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Okay, everybody, shut up, because I'm talking. <clears throat> we all know Vernon has been incredibly insulting to everyone. He even kidnapped me and made me ride around with him. True story. Anyway, today he's going to make it all up to you by being mean to himself. Welcome to the Vernon Wendell Roast. Screw that. We're leaving. Wait! I'm so fat, even my shadow has diabetes. <laughs> I'm so fat, I have more chins than Eco's phone book. <laughs> I'm so stupid, I spelled IQ wrong on the test. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, who has to go next? I even wrote some for you guys. When Vernon was born, the doctors took one look at him and slapped his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Vernon is so poor, his piggy bank is anorexic. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it when Vernon's fat body blocks the sun? A laser eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> I have reason to believe Vernon took my rake. Well, that was fun. You all found forgiveness through the cleansing act of revenge. 
But the festivities wouldn't be complete unless I thank my new friend, Roxy, who came up with this great idea. Which is surprising because it's the first time in her life she's ever thought about anything but herself. <laughs> Actually, she's a great girl, just trapped inside a mean girl's body. <laughs> and the attitude, boy, don't get me started. Scientists use her personality to study black holes because it's cheaper than going into space. <laughs> Wait! Roxy! You did it again, Vernon. Vernon's so sad, I'll bet he's gonna cry. That's not really a joke unless you think other people being sad is funny. Which I do. <laughs> Good morning, everybody! Die, Lord Vark! Mm. I am gonna check on her, then come back and drown you in your own bladder. I'm going to read a medical book and see if that's possible. The whole time hoping that it is. Hey, Jake, we're still pals, right? Even I think you went too far, and I don't even like Roxy that much. So, this is what it's come to. Looks like my high school guidance counselor was right when he said I would die alone in a dump. How'd you get Stefan here? I promised to let him groom me. He's going to give me a full front and act. What does that mean? No, oh, you will never find out because this is disgusting. <gasps> Deal's off. Stefan, he leaves. Bye-bye. Oh, a Frenchman who gives up? Didn't see that coming. He's leaving? I thought Bjorn would be the last volunteer we lost. At this rate, the garbage is going to win, and we can't lose to garbage. Only the Toronto Maple Leafs do that. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're facing an enemy named Trash, and up until now, Trash has run this town, but all that's about to change. And you wanna know why? I'll tell you why. Because I have a secret weapon. Rambo had his knife, Clint Eastwood had his gun, Terry Fox had his one good leg, and I have something too. Is it me, Dad? Actually, it's science, but you can help if you want. Watch out, Trash! Here comes Norm and science! And me, right, Dad? Yes, and Jake. But mostly me and science. What'd you see, Dad? Nothing, son. That'll work for sure. I give up, garbage. You win! I thought you said science could solve every problem. Science and I are taking a break from each other. And that's why Sheila made such a big mistake marrying the guy. What the hell have I become? Living in a dump and talking to narcoleptic mannequins? This is no life. It's time to build that murder machine I've always dreamed of. But now, instead of salt and pepper shaker collectors who answer classified ads, I'm gonna use it to murder myself. It'll be the perfect crime, too. As long as I get rid of all the witnesses. There, that should do it. Now to make sure it works. Sorry it had to end like this. If it's any consolation, ours was the longest, most meaningful relationship I've ever had with a woman. <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? Just like with every mannequin's death, this gives me an idea. And that's why I hate Christmas. What's going on? Oh, that's a question I ask constantly. Sadly, the answer I usually settle on isn't satisfying in any way. I think it's because I don't understand things. It's coming from over there! Learning do this? I actually built the machine. I helped. You sure did, son. Mostly me. Vernon, explain what's happening. I don't do well with vagueness. This was all for Roxy. At first, I was gonna kill myself, but then I realized that would only make her a little happy for a little while. And if I did, I could never apologize. Roxy, I'm sorry. I'm a loudmouth moron. But somehow, you and I became pals until I ruined it. 
Well, luckily, this moron found something to apologize with. And a way to give you a gift. The gift of different. A day that isn't like every other one in this pit. I only hope it's enough. What are friends for? And don't worry, I'm sure I'll disappoint you again. And it begins. Well, everyone's sure enjoying the snow. And the garbage problem is solved. Guess my machines worked after all. Yeah. Not well enough to kill Vernon. my roadies, it's your job to bring a special fan backstage for some cob rumbling. <laughs> and I got my eye on that one. Not that one! The one next to them! <laughs> 